Yeah. Guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So I mean do I look like a dick? You can say yes, I won't be offended. I'm not sure this hairstyle's for me, but today we have got a PLT haul. This video is very kindly in collaboration with PLT. They did very kindly give me these items. Um, however, this is not sponsored. I'm not being paid. They just sent them over. You guys know that PLT have a very special place in my heart. I just, I just love them. I love PLT so much. Um, I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a PLT haul. Saying that probably hasn't, you guys are probably going to look back on my channel, it was probably literally like three weeks ago. But anyway, it feels like I haven't fil filmed one for a while. So here we are with another haul. So these are sort of outfits that I plan to style post lockdown. Um, it's currently Monday the 22nd, we've got Boz's announcement tonight, not hopeful, I haven't got any sort of feeling I'm going to be allowed to wear these outfits anytime soon. But... I've maxed out on the loungewear, I don't need any more tracksuits, I don't need any more comfies, so I thought, do you know what, I'm going to start prepping for three years time when we're allowed out. Good plan, right? So, the first thing I picked up was actually this top. I have got this in white and I was about to say I love it so much, but I haven't even had the chance to wear it out yet. But I decided to get it in black too because, I don't know, I just feel like black at the minute is just, I just love wearing black. Um... I get this in a size 4, like I said I do have it in white and it's exactly the same. Um, it's like a satiny, I'm not sure if you can see, it's like a satin blouse sort of material. Um, it has like collars, this is going to sound such a weird description but it's like got like this like collared bit that obviously takes it off the shoulder. Um, I've got snot as well, what's going on? Um, and then it's obviously long sleeved and it's got like little splits, so it's sort of like a shirt blouse style top but satin cropped you know it's elasticated around the back so the back bit is completely elasticated um and then the front bit knots over i'm pretty sure my may has a top like this in her collection and that's where i originally found this because she's got a very similar style um but i just preferred this one so yeah like i said i wear it in a size four also i'll link everything down below for you guys um I just my tummy. but i feel like this is just it's so stunning do you not think? Like, it's so cute. I really, really love it. I think I prefer the black to the white. I'm not going to lie. I never thought I'd say that because I'm such a white, like, clothing style kind of girl. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like the black's more flattering on me personally. I just can't go over this hair, guys. It's not good, is it? Oh, I had visions of wearing this with, like, some wide leg trousers. And that's what I, th I feel like with the black top. Um, I will get so much more wear out of this one compared to the white only because I feel like I can style this in so many different sort of ways um, and it will look like a different top do you know what I mean whereas I think white's quite like you can tell it's the same top not that there's anything wrong with that guys 2021 is the year of re-wearing our clothes because let's be real we haven't even had a chance to wear half of them might just put you back a bit so that you can I can put some trousers on to show you because I'm currently in my knickknacks so I've just popped on these trousers which are also from PLT in a size 4 um, and I didn't actually plan on this like looking cute together but oh my god guys I've got an eyelash and loads of masks on my side can you see that the whole time that's so embarrassing um, yeah I didn't think this was going to be a cute like outfit together I just thought I like the top and I like the trousers and I'll just pop them on so you guys can see I love this so much so they're like wide leg trousers in like this don't really know like a stone colour but like more grey than like beige if you know what I mean um they are so comfortable you would not even believe how comfy these are and inside they're like soft you know like sweater material they're like soft inside they are so stretchy they are so nice I would actually say size down they've got quite a lot of um give in them so yeah maybe size down these are a size four and if anything there's still a lot of room in them um I can't even cope with these Listen. Every time I hear that squeaky like faux leather noise, you know what it reminds me of? You know on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where he like Willy Wonka goes to shake his hand and it goes all like squeaky. Ugh. Ugh. That's a horrible noise. Um how stunning. Bozza. Let's all say a prayer to Boz. Dear Boris Johnson, 
Tonight you're going to let the UK know what's happening. Please, please tell me I can wear my nice outfits. I know there is so much more to worry about in the world. I know there's a lot going on in the world and the world is a very awful place all the time. But right now, I think we could all appreciate a lovely night out. And just forget about what's going on and just start fresh. Thank you. I mean, not to, to be cocky or anything over here, but my prayer evidently worked, guys. I have a boyfriend, but Hot Girl Summer is on. Okay, look at it though. Oh my god. I just have visions of me in the clubs, so comfy. Like, I'm comfortable, I'm warm, I wouldn't need a jacket. Oh, I love it. And these trousers, obviously, you can pair with so many different things, like bodysuits, little crop tops, blazers, you know, everything. We're off to a good start. I feel like PLT never lets me down. Never. Right, I knew I was going to love this dress, but I love it even more than I imagined. But before I start talking about it, basically, I actually wanted this in, like, a different pattern. I'll put a picture on the screen, but they didn't have my size. Um, so PLT actually sent me out this one but they actually sent me in a size 8 so it is too big for me but I think I can make it work and oh my goodness me look at this dress so I'm not sure if you can see but it's just like it kind of goes a bit baggy there whereas like a size 6 or a size 4 would have been a little bit tighter but it's fine when it comes in stock I'm just gonna purchase it because I need this not that I'm gonna be going on holiday this year I don't think I have no I have no hope I have no hope in anything right now i've lost all my faith in life but one day i'll go on holiday and maybe my hometown will have to just watch me go out in this dress i can't cope i just love this style of crop top at the minute obviously this is a dress but i've been wearing these a lot on like tiktok and like in a lot of my hauls i've been picking these up um so when i saw this i was like and i'm gonna need this in the other pattern the other pattern was stunning Look at it. Oh, and obviously, like I said, it is too big, so like the cups aren't quite right because obviously, you're in, like a, in a smaller size, it's my size. Obviously, these will be like smaller, if you know what I mean. Obviously, you can wear this dress in a lot of different ways as well because I know a lot of people wear these tops like crossed over. I keep saying tops. So, like when you get the string and then. Oh, that's cute, actually. Obviously, I have a necklace on, so just bear that in mind that I wouldn't wear a necklace if. I styled it this way there's a lot going on here I'm not sure you can see that but I know a lot of people with this style of top actually cross it over and that is cute too I think I prefer it I'm not sure which way do I prefer it I think I prefer it the other way I'm not sure just on me I think it's more flattering but this is cute too guys I can't believe this dress it's so nice, it's so soft, so stretchy. Oh my god. Like, I don't even know what to say. Imagine on holiday with a massive like beach hat, you know those like circle beach hats, a pair of sunglasses. I actually picked up these from PRT the other day. What do we what do we think? They don't look good on me, do they? Why did I keep them? Why did I keep them? I'm never gonna wear them. Oh, it just gives me such like island vibes. Just wanna be in Greece, sipping a cocktail, wearing my dress. It actually kind of looks cute with that. I'm not gonna lie. Right, I'm not gonna like lie about this. I'm obsessed, and if I can't even get it in a size four or six, I don't care because I'll wear the eight. But it looks cute AF. <sighs> so the main reason I got this is because it just looked really comfy on the website. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it just looked comfy AF. Now, I got it in a size 4, um, I was going to get it in a size 6, and good job I didn't, because the size 4 is actually kind of big for me. It's basically, I'll need to put you back down, but it's basically just like a brushed cotton ribbed play suit. And I thought this was going to be so nice for just like lounging around the house, you know, classic comfort vibes. 
Um, and I thought like just chucking it on, like when I get up in the morning I just want to chuck something on um, because I don't sleep in clothes but I need to obviously put clothes on to walk around the house. But I also thought on holiday, you know when you're at the pool and it gets to the evening and you're just still chilling around the pool waiting to go up to your room and you need something to pop on or like when you're popping into the restaurant a bit for lunch and you need something to pop on. Yeah it's brushed cotton but it's not too thick so like I don't think it would be too warm in it but yeah like I said it is kind of big for me. So I definitely suggest sizing down because I'm not sure if you can see but like it's just really big. Let me put you down even more. You can't even see the bottom where it ends. So it ends like there. So obviously, I mean, it's a little... Oh, this camera angle is ideal. So obviously, yeah, it's a little bit too big. But obviously, I can't get as small a size as on a four, unfortunately. So I'd have to just have it like this. But I kind of think if you put a belt around the middle of it or something, or just like... I don't know. I don't think it's working for me. I'm definitely going to wear this around the house. Like, it's so comfortable, so soft, so... Like, it's just spacious part. Do you know what this would be perfect for? Fake tan days. You know when you fake tan and you sleep in your tan and you don't want to get tan all over your sheets? Because it's comfy. It's, like, I hate sleeping in clothes. I can't sleep in clothes. I will be able to sleep in this. Oh my god. Okay, scrap everything I said. It's a fake tan play suit. So... Winner! Right, so for this one you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, just because it's not exactly how I imagined. So I actually got this blazer in a PLT haul ages ago, I'm not sure if you remember it, but obviously I haven't been able to wear it anywhere, so it's still got the label in it. But I picked up this belt because I keep seeing these on Instagram, Maura Higgins wore it and Millie Roberts wore it, and they both looked so cute. Um, unfortunately, it's too big for me, so I've got it on the tightest, um, and I think, I, I don't know how, like, is there a way to add extra links into, like, belt oh my god you can see my underwear i really wanted it to be like really tight so that the blazer was like i don't know and obviously this blazer is not a dress it's incredibly short so i wouldn't wear it with this blazer but it's just a plc blazer that i just wanted to show you for example but i do think this is really cute like i do actually love this like this outfit is stunning like it is so cute and it's something i would 100 percent wear it's just unfortunately the belt has got quite a bit of a gap um and obviously this blazer isn't what i would pair it with well I would but a big one um so yeah it's very cute and I do love it like I'm happy with the belt it's very cute matches my own ring um but yeah obviously I just need a bigger blazer and try and find someone that is able to obviously make the belt a bit smaller but I can imagine this with some chunky boots or a little strappy heel just going for a little brunch or a little dinner you know, nice slick back bun or big curls, all big curls would look cute. Or just like a really slick pony or something, I'm not really sure. But it is cute and I'm happy with it, I just, it's just a little bit too big. So I know I just said I have no faith in Boza letting us on holiday, but I did pick up two bikinis because I want to be hopeful. I want to go on holiday, like I just, oh, I just needed some bikinis, you know. So I picked up this one, I picked these up in a six and a six. Um, I always go for a six in a bikini just because, I don't know, I just always do. And it fits perfectly. So I went for this like mint green one because I just thought with a tan this is going to be stunning. I'm about to say something and people with boobs are probably going to think, where? But it's actually given me a bit of cleavage. So I'm 32A, I don't have any boobs. Like I'm here for the itty bitty titty girls. But because of the style of this bikini, it like has lifted them up. Obviously girls with bigger boobs, you know, your boobs are going to be filling this. But for me someone that's got diddy little boobies it's quite cute so the bottoms i'm not going to flash my whole bum cheeks but it's not a thong i am not a fan of a thong bikini just personal preference i feel like you're basically naked why do you need to wear a thong i just i mean they look cute and you guys look stunning in them but for me personally I like to keep some things to the imagination you know like my bum crack doesn't want these to be on show um so yeah i like the fit of these it's very stunning and the colour is so cute and I just want to be on holiday now. Imagine a nice little white cover up on the, with this and a big sun hat and some sunnies. Oh, wait, look, imagine a nice big sun hat and some shades in the sun. Sipping some cocktails with Bay or your girls, whoever you go on holiday with, your family. Oh. Hey, yo. Okay, you can see a little bit closer up. It's sort of ribbed. I'm not really sure how to explain that. Um, you know, like a little ribbed, cute little bikini. 
So then I also picked up this bikini, which is quite a lot going on, and I feel like your tan lines in this would be obviously a little bit odd. Also, guys, putting this on, I did notice that I haven't actually shaved my Harry Mary Fairies. Um, so if I flashed any of that, or you can see any of that, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry because it's natural. Everyone has hair. I just don't really want that on the internet. So if you can see anything, I am sorry. Um, so this one is cute. It's obviously got the two little like hip bits here. I just feel like they're really flattering it on your hips, you know, hoists them in a little bit. Um, so this one actually goes over your head, whereas the green one is a clip. And I am going to say I prefer the clip just because, you know, when you're wet and you've been in the pool and stuff, and then you go back to your hotel and you try and take this off over your head and it's just so sticky and horrible. Just hate that. Again, it's not a thong. Like I said, I don't like thongs. Um, it's just like a little brief. Yeah, like the tan lines probably will be a little bit weird on this, but I mean, it's okay. You can always just like pull that down or take a, like put that bit over your head. Um, so this top part is obviously like that black dress I got. Like I said, I really love that like sort of style at the minute. I just think this is cute. Popped a little tracksuit on because the last thing is actually a pair of shoes. So these are obviously like a dupe for the Balenciaga trainers. I used to hate them, I'm not gonna lie, like Balenciaga, like the Balenciagas that look like this, I just could not stand them. I just didn't understand, like, just didn't think they were cute. All of a sudden, I just love them and like the comfort of them and like, obviously, not the real ones, but like, oh, these are so comfortable. Like, I love them so much. So I picked up these ones, which are the stone ones. I think the reason I started liking these is because I saw the real Balenciagas in this colour with obviously like the complete, the full like beige. Um, so then I saw these ones on PLT and I was like, you know what, like, I'm not going to be paying for the Balenciaga ones anytime soon because I don't like a house. Um, so let's pick up the PLT ones. So this is what they look like on. Can you see that? When I tell you these are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn, I know these aren't going to be to everyone's tastes. I completely get it. Like, they weren't to my taste. I just despise them. But now... Changed my mind. I got them in a size 3 and they fit perfectly. They're so comfortable. I just am obsessed with them. Like, I don't feel like everyone's going to love them. and That's totally fine. But, me personally, they're cute. Imagine that with a nice beige tracksuit and a beige trainer. I do find with PLT shoes, if you like between sizes, definitely go for the smaller size. Um, just because they fit better. But I love these. So guys, that is everything that I picked up in today's haul. I will link everything down below in the description box. Thank you so much for to PLT for sending all these pieces over to me. You guys know I appreciate it so much. And it's still very weird that like I work with PLT. But I'm not complaining. It's a dream come true. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Um, obviously, by the time you watch this, Boz's announcement will have been. So hopefully, you guys can pop onto PLT and purchase some of these. If we can go out. Oh my god. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you love me.